What up, YouTube? Y'all already know Big Lou tapping back in. What it do with Big Lou NFZ all two, baby, baby. So this is a short little video. <clears throat> I kind of touched on it a little bit the other day on the on the live stream on Wednesday. Uh, Takashi six nine. He got a he got a little poop padded. Uh, he got a little molly whopped. A little they did a little river dance on his head. Um, at a LA fitness in somewhere in Florida. Um, it just goes to show you people's, you can't do something like that. You know, don't get me wrong. Was it fucked up a situation he was put in and what happened with his family and all that? Yeah. With his money. Yeah. But guess what? He put himself there. And, uh, this is something I always say, you can't be involved in that criminal lifestyle. And then when it happens to you act all brand new, you know, and try to act like you're naive and gullible to the whole type of situations that there's no such thing as backstabbing and betrayal in that life, you know? So, you know, just like what I'm saying is, you know, oh, well, you know, they did this to my girl and they stole this type of money and they try to hold me for hostage and blah, blah, blah. well, what do you expect? I mean, they're, they're legitimate criminals, legitimate gangsters, legitimate street people. You're a wannabe, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of, <laughs> to be a wannabe at that age, already in your 20s, that, that says a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of these rappers are, even some of these sports players, they were gangbang. They did gangbang in their younger years. You know what I'm saying? Or they grew up around it. You know what I'm saying? You'll see some of these dudes on the basketball court. They'll throw up certain signs because there's a lot of guys that are from the L.A. area that are playing basketball. Um, and, you know, they'll try to say that, oh, yeah, they're throwing up signs, you know, such as, uh, well, I don't want to say all names. You guys know. If you don't know, you don't know. Um, but, um you just, it just shows you, you know, this dude, this, this, this new, this new era, this new, whatever it's, it's, these people are becoming comfortable, you know, and feeling like they can just go anywhere after doing what they did. And yeah, I mean, they might be right with a lot of people, but such as this, these cats in this video, they don't play that, you know, now it could have been a lot worse, you know, for that, you know, uh, you know, he got it easy. He got it very easy in that video a few smacks and a couple kicks and it wasn't even like real hard kick. They weren't stomping him. You know what I mean? But yeah, he was lumped up a little bit and he probably got the shit scared out of him. Rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? You just can't go around anywhere you want because you got money, you know, and, 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 and you know, you just can't do that. You just can't do that. I'll pull, you know, now in Alpo's case, that situation was something different, but there's nothing to say that that couldn't happen anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this dude, 6 9 another thing, too, is, he, you know, usually he has a bunch of security with him. And I guess that day he didn't have. So I don't know if he's getting too comfortable. Now he's thinking he don't need them and he's paying way too much money to have them. And he only gets them for certain trips he makes or something like that. But uh, uh, he made a big mistake if that's the case. And that's how he was thinking when it came to that day. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel sorry for him at all because, you know, uh, you know, he shouldn't he had no business putting himself in that situation being around these people trying to be a blood and whatever whatever hood he was trying to claim uh you know what i'm saying that that was out it never should have been in when it came to him you know and a lot of other people too so motherfuckers better start uh sitting back and reevaluating things that are going on in their life and tell and ask yourself is it really worth it to me going making this trip after doing what i did you know what i'm saying or on the flip side motherfuckers sitting there thinking about hooking up with these cats or those cats think sitting back and reevaluating. Should I really do that? Should I really invest or do this project with these cats or whatever it might be? Reevaluate your situations, people. You know what I'm saying? And those that got on that stand and testified and made statements and all that, you, you know, you, you, one day you will have to answer for what you did. You know what I'm saying? And I'll leave it at that. So with that being said, big Lou tapping out.